As statisticians gather here in Portland for the most important event in their field, a very different event is currently underway in Paris. We're talking about the Olympics, of course. But perhaps they're not quite as removed as you might think. To talk us through some of the very latest in sports analytics, I'm joined now by SMU's Monty McGee and Guanu Hu, Chair of the ASA Statistics and Sports Section. Thanks so much for talking with us. Oh, you're very welcome. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Guanu, let's start with you. Sports and statistics, it goes hand in hand. We have some of the greatest minds here at this event. How much of an impact do statisticians here have on sports? Yeah, that's a great question. Since now that you know that now it's a data science age, so in the sports, we gather a lot of different data sets. So now there's the statistics play a very important role in the sports industry. For example, the initial idea maybe people can come up with is to do the play evaluations. So that is maybe in some Reddit, we can find some very hot topic. Who is the best player in the history of the soccer? So that is all our statistician can make some decision for this kind of topic. So that is the first player evaluation. And also this can help maybe the team to recruit their uh, good players from the market or pick some good player from the college. So that's a player evaluation. And second thing I'm coming up with is some uh, injury recovery. Since, you know, every sport, the player will get some injuries. So that we, we can apply our method to help them to get the recovery. So that is nature application of traditional biostat method, the, like the survival analysis or recurrent event. That is very important. You have a very exciting session coming up here at JSM where you've brought together some of the greatest minds in sport analytics. Um, talk about, give us a preview if you would. So my session is on called Going for the Gold. It's about Olympic sports. And the sports that we have featured are um, volleyball, mm -hmm gymnastics, track and field, and curling. Uh, so we have a winter sport thrown in there also. Um, and so I, I really am passionate about the sports that are quote unquote non-traditional sports that stay away from, um, most of my analysis has been on sports that are not hockey, football, baseball, basketball, or um, American football. So those are the ones that I really enjoy. And so that's one of the reasons I put this session together. And also it's quite timely as, as you mentioned. Yeah. <laughs> and how are statisticians involved in the Olympics in particular? Well, the, the U.S. Paralympic and uh, U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee has a chief statistician and a group of statisticians that work with them to help with um, player selection, for example, or um, analysis of the data. Um, I've actually talked with that particular person about trying to do things like create the best possible list of dives for a particular diver, those kinds of things. So yeah, they are heavily involved in trying to gather data and analyze data. Mm, watching the sports with a different eye, a different framework. Guanu, how did you get into this field and what do you find most rewarding about it? Yeah, I think first, I'm a super fan of the sports. I love to watch a lot of different sports games like the uh, soccer, basketball, American footballs. And I came from Florida State University, so we are the huge sports university. So we have very good football teams in the Florida State, so that I like the sports. So that I think that, and also I find that there are sports, there are some, previously I do, did some research on the spiritual temporal data analysis. And also I find that in the sports, there are nature spiritual temporal statistics data. So we, we get some different location of their passing location and have the their goals location. So that is nature spiritual temporal data. So why not I do, do this kind of sport data analysis since that is my, what I've, what, 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 what the thing I like. I love that, that's great. Mm -hmm. Mani, what area of sports are statisticians involved in that might surprise people? I think there are two things that come to mind. One of them is that the methodology to be developed. Um, as I mentioned, there are so many, so much data out there and the data captures so many things that we weren't able to capture even say 20 years ago. So there's a lot of um, methodology to be developed in dependent data analysis. I mean, statisticians are always assuming that observations are independent, but in sports you have a lot of dependencies to deal with. And also, as uh, Gonchu has mentioned, the, um, the spatial temporal data analysis as well. So that might be surprising that there's a lot of methodology to be developed, not just for sports, but because of sports maybe, mm -hmm. and applied to other things. What a fun conversation. So great to meet you both. Thanks so much. Thank you. My pleasure.